Hey, good afternoon, Darren with the Herb Cooker. Welcome to episode 16, holy crap, episode 16 of the Herb Cooker Kitchen. Can't even believe it. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm looking forward to doing something a little bit different, a little bit creative, having a little bit of fun, trying to relax. Um, it's summer and strawberries are everywhere. Um, everyone keeps saying, hey, what can you infuse with strawberries? And I always say strawberry shortcake, and everybody goes, oh my God, I'm so tired of strawberry shortcake. Got anything else? I do. We're going to infuse strawberry cake today, and we're going to infuse it with wedding cake, like that. Um, wedding cake is a hybrid. It's also known as pink cookies on the East Coast, I believe. It's great for relaxation and stress. Um, You'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees for your strawberry cake. And just a quick recap for our frosting. We're going to use three cups of powdered sugar, a third of a cup of room temperature butter, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and a couple tablespoons of whole milk. Um, for your strawberry cake, it's really, really easy. Um, we're going to use two cups of white sugar. I'm using a three ounce package of strawberry jello. I'm using one cup of room temperature butter. I'm using four room temperature eggs, uh, two and three quarters cups of flour. I'm using a cup of milk, a tablespoon of vanilla, and I went and pureed a half a cup of strawberries. So um, we're gonna use four grams of wedding cake and we're going to um, activate the THC with our herb cooker. So with our herb cooker, we always have our aluminum base bowl. It provides for even, even heat. And just like always, first thing you do, you always want to add four cups of water to your base bowl. It never changes. It's always four cups. Tap water is just fine. Nothing special. Put four cups of water in here and we have a stainless steel insert this keeps the heat inside your aluminum bowl so this goes on any stovetop gas electric ceramic cooktop it doesn't matter and we're going to use four grams of our wedding cake so i'm using a stoneware infusion bowl comes with your kit and I have four grams of wedding cake pre-weighed. Um, so I'm just gonna add my wedding cake right to my stoneware infusion bowl. And what I like to do, you can use a pill bottle, you can use a shot glass, it doesn't matter. You can use a pestle, but just flatten your hash down. Um, the ratio of glycerin to hash it's a half a tablespoon of vegetable glycerin per gram. Since we're using four grams of um, wedding cake, we're gonna use two tablespoons of all natural vegetable glycerin. So that is very easy. Every kit comes with your own bottle of vegetable glycerin and you can reorder your vegetable glycerin and your kit at theherbcooker.com. So we're just gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin Pour these in. It doesn't always cover the top of the vegetable this or the uh, the hash. Um, it's okay if it doesn't. You can use dry ice hash. You can use cold water hash. You can use bubble hash. You can use keef. Um, it doesn't really matter. If you notice, it didn't quite cover my hash completely, but it will. All we're doing is we're using the vegetable glycerin as a catalyst to allow the trichomes to activate and expand. So that's what we're doing with the heat. This goes right inside our herb cooker. And as always, we're gonna put it on medium low. And that should run about 14 minutes. Benji, you got a time for us on our 14 minutes? So we have our hash in. As you notice, it's not quite covered, the glycerin isn't quite covering the top of the hash. It will as we go. So, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's make a strawberry cake. So, let's get this mess out of the way. For those of you that are just joining us for the first time, 
Uh, we're not professional cooks. We don't expect you to be a professional cook. We just want to show you that there's a lot of fun ways um, that you can infuse great tasting food that tastes like what it's supposed to, that doesn't taste like a mouthful of weed. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to use two cups of butter. And we're just going to drop those right in here. Um, it's a good idea not to mix the bowl as well. So we'll take that out. And I'm going to add in my two cups of granulated sugar right into my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add in my three ounces of strawberry gelatin. Um, you can get a three ounce pack. You don't have to measure that out. And all we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and let's cream the butter, the sugar, and the gelatin together. Start slow. There's a lot of powder in here. You don't want it to fly everywhere as you go. And let me um, plug myself in real fast. Okay. So, now that we're plugged in and we're ready to go, let's try this one more time. There we go. Just start it on slow. Just go ahead and let everything mix in. It takes a couple of minutes. Um, just enjoy yourself. There's no mistakes that you can make that you can't fix when you're cooking. So just enjoy yourself. Don't worry about the outcome. It's going to come out great. It's going to taste amazing. And the best part is it's not going to taste like a mouthful of cannabis when you're done. So let's go ahead and turn this up a little bit. And we're just gonna let this cream together for a moment. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and take our baking powder and we'll add that to our flour. And I just like to take a fork and just mix them together. Makes my job a little bit easier here in a minute. So, oh yeah. Dakota, do you wanna take a look at this? We can show how well this is all folded in together. This looks really nice, okay? All we did is combined, and what we're gonna do next is we are going to add in our eggs one at a time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start the mixer, take an egg, and just go ahead one at a time. Is that, as soon as that's mixed in, we'll go ahead and add our second egg. Allow that to mix up for just a minute. Take your time, enjoy yourself while you're doing this. Um, look forward to being able to really relax with some wonderful fresh strawberries in a whole different way, rather than just in strawberry shortcake. So, we're going to let that finish. And we're going to add in our last egg. So, nothing difficult so far, right? All we've done is we've creamed our sugar, our butter, our gelatin. We've folded in four eggs. Now that this is just about mixed up, I'm going to turn my uh, mixer up for a moment. Turn this back to low and what we're going to do is we're going to alternately add flour and our milk together into the mixer. So just take your flour, add in enough flour till this starts to look like it's thickening up. Add your milk to compensate. Just let it take its time. Enjoy yourself. Remember, you're going to feel really good with your uh, infused strawberry cake with wedding cake or whatever particular strain you're using today. Let's go ahead and add in a little bit more flour. And we'll add in a little bit more milk. We're letting the mixer do all the work for us. The less we have to do, the better. And as soon as that is... Um, completely Pepto-Bismol looking, 
Um, we'll add in the rest of our flour, and then we'll add in uh, the rest of our milk. By then, our hash infusion should be ready. The nice thing is, all I can smell is strawberry right now. There is no um, infusion smell whatsoever. Okay. So now that this is looking like Pepto Bismol again, let's go ahead and add in the rest of our flour. Let's incorporate that up and let's add in the rest of our milk. Add it in slow. Just enjoy yourself. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Okay. We'll let that finish mixing up. I hope everybody is having fun at home making an infused strawberry cake. The best part about using the herb cooker is you never ever have to alter a recipe. Um, because I am uh, making my hash infusion process, I'm going to add it in at the very end with my vanilla and my strawberry puree. So I'm going to shut this off. Let's go ahead and turn this down. Let's go ahead and scoop off our extra flour. And then let's go ahead and mix this up inside. Make sure that it's all the way incorporated to the bottom. So far, we've done an amazing job. I hope everybody's cake at home. I hope your batter is turning out as well as mine is so far. Um, it's really nice to have you guys with us. Let's check our hash infusion. It still has a few minutes to go. What are you, about five minutes to go? Yeah. So as you can see, um, we still have um, some of the hash on top, but a lot of it's been activated. We'll give it a few more minutes and that heat will just incorporate everything and it'll be activated um, in just a few minutes with no odor. Um, while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and grease two nine inch pans, okay? What I like to do is when I make a strawberry cake, there's only two of us at home, so I'll make a double cake. I usually freeze one and just frost the other one and enjoy it, and I can have a strawberry cake at a later date. Um, your infusion process itself will store in the refrigerator up to 180 days, so you're good to go that way, so you can always be ready at a moment's notice to make whatever you want without altering a recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease my pans. I'm just gonna use a little bit of shortening. You have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. So there's one. Let's go ahead and grease our other pan. Have a little bit of fun. Make smiley faces, do whatever you want. Okay. Um, remember, you're not a professional cook, neither are we. We're just going to enjoy ourselves. Have some fun knowing that, hey, we don't have to alter the recipe. We don't have to try to figure out how much butter um, we're using compared to how much butter the recipe calls for. Um, we're not using any green butter. I don't have any out today, but anything that's gross or disgusting, um, the best part is... We're just going to add some flour, okay? Go ahead and just coat your pan. And then when you're done, give it a nice roll right around. And we'll be ready for our next pan, okay? So, make a little bit of mess. It's no big deal. We'll get it cleaned up when we're done. But we're just about ready for some um, strawberry cake. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and check our infusion process. And oh yeah. How much time do we have, Benji? Two minutes. Two minutes. This wedding cake was quite dense, so we're gonna use all 14 minutes today with the infusion process but it's just about done. You'll see the huge difference between what it looked like when we started and what it looks like now. The best part is there's no odor. A lot of people ask, why do we use hash? Why aren't we using can of butter? Well, what we're doing is we're only using the trichomes. Think of a um, ear of corn, okay? Instead of using the whole ear of corn, 
we're just using the kernels of the corn. Um, a question, can you use keef? Oh yeah, you can use keef all day long. Um, the best part of it is there's not a lot of plant material in there, so there's not a lot of odor. Um, it doesn't alter the taste of what you're eating, what you're consuming. Um, because it doesn't alter the taste, we highly recommend that you keep your edibles out of the reach of children and pets, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and shut my infusion off. I've made a big mess here, but let me bring this over so everybody can see what it looks like. Now, your stoneware infusion bowl. And right now we're showing everybody exactly what it looks like, what we just did. Um, this is just a time lapse of 30 seconds um, to show you exactly what it looks like when we're activating um, the hash, the THC. That's all we're trying to do. That's what you do when you take a lighter and put it to your joint or to a bowl as you're activating the THC with heat. We've activated our THC with heat and now it's ready for any food. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to add this right now right into our strawberry cake batter. Now, this changes, this is very dark inside. You guys can see that our cake batter right now looks like Pepto-Bismol, and that's what it's gonna look like in just a second. Um, people often ask, why doesn't it change the color of the food? Because there's no plant material in it. Since we're only using the trichomes, those trichomes have activated into the glycerin, and as soon as they incorporate into the food, they bind right into the food and they lose their color. So that's why we don't change the color when we do this. So what I'm gonna do at the same time is I'm gonna add in my strawberry puree, half a cup. It was about eight strawberries, just in case anybody wants to know. And we're gonna add that right in there on top of our wedding cake hash. And we have our vanilla. So now that we have our vanilla in there, let's go ahead and raise this back up. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this. And while that's incorporating, I'm gonna start off on slow. We'll speed it up here in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up most of my mess here. So that we have a little bit of room to work. Notice it's right back to looking like Pepto-Bismol. Um, we haven't altered the color. We're not altering the taste of what we're making. And let's just go ahead and scrape our bowl down. Make sure that we have everything incorporated into it. And if it is, it'll be ready to go into the oven. So, looks good to me. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, nothing like summer produce to have fun. Um, in two weeks, we're going to be making a, a stone fruit galetta with everybody. Um, it's a wonderful item. I can hardly wait to share the recipe. Um, they come out beautiful. They look like you took all day, and they're very, very simple to make. So we're going to go ahead and divide our cake batter into our two pans. Oh, look at this. Just smells like summer. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the best part is I only smell strawberries. I do not smell um, the wedding cake hash infusion that we added in here. Um, the kitchen doesn't smell like um, cannabis. Um, all we can smell is strawberries. Okay. I know there are several of you that have told me you were making strawberry cake with us today. So I'm really anxious to hear how it turns out for everybody. And I'm going to try to get every bit of goodness that I can out of this mixing bowl. Spit it around a little bit. Okay. 
And then I'm going to put this in the center oven for approximately 35 minutes. And you're definitely going to want to, um, to use a toothpick when you're done and triple check your cake in several spots to make sure that it's um, completely baked all the way through before you take it out of the oven. So, <coughs> go ahead and just give it a couple quick taps. Get the air bubbles out. And let's get this into our oven. 350 degrees. Benji, you got a timer for um, 35 minutes for me? And I can pull this out. So, we have our strawberry cake ready to go into the oven. It looks wonderful. It's going to taste fantastic. So, there's our cake. While our cake is baking, Let's go ahead and make um, a quick uh, vanilla buttercream frosting. Um, frosting, I have to admit to everybody, always, always intimidates me. So, yes. So let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun and see what we can do uh, making frosting. So, this recipe for me always seems to work. I don't know why it is that... Um, Frosting for me is a difficult thing, so I just try to master one item. Um, for you at home, maybe you're frosting gurus, go ahead, uh, send us a recipe if you have an idea. Um, if you have a suggestion, I'm using three cups of powdered sugar. I just want this to go into a deep bowl. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my butter. So I have a third of a cup of very soft room temperature butter. And then I'm going to add in my vanilla. And just a little bit of the milk. Okay, I have two tablespoons right here. And we're gonna call that good. So, first thing we wanna do, go low to start don't start on high. You're going to be very unhappy. Um, and your stone butt's going to be uh, cleaning up powdered sugar all over the kitchen. Okay. So let's just incorporate this. Can you give me a little milk just in case? Okay. So I always get impatient when I'm making frosting. So, all we're trying to do is to get that butter and the granule and the powdered sugar incorporated as well as possible. And once I do that, just add in a little bit of milk. A little bit of milk at a time. There we go, that was a lot of milk at once. I know it's hard to hear. We're just making a little vanilla buttercream frosting for our strawberry cake. Let's go ahead and incorporate this down. And look at this. There we go, we'll finish it up, we'll get the lumps out. Simple ingredients that are available from any kitchen or any supermarket for your kitchen. One nice thing about using the herb cooker is we're not trying to mask any poor flavors of the cannabis um, because there is no strong cannabis flavor and we're able to use regular ingredients 
we're not having to go out and buy vanilla bean paste or fun things that are expensive, however, um, to mask the taste of what we're making. All we're trying to do is show you that it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have access to um, any type of cannabis, um, then you can make your own hash if you can't eat any food at home like a pro. So we have our vanilla buttercream frosting and let's clean up a little bit of our mess here. Um, there we go. Just enough to make this look good, right? I hope everybody at home is having fun. And uh, what I like to do is I like to just do half the cake. I like to freeze the other half of the cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this fresh buttercream frosting that we've just made and let's just frost this right up we'll put it in the refrigerator when it's done let this sit before we serve it but boy oh boy am I excited I am so glad that I'm able to share such a delicious recipe with everybody at home we're so happy to hear from everybody every week that's um, telling us how they're using the herb cooker um, telling us the different things they're doing with it. Um, you can order your very own herb cooker at theherbcooker.com. Um, if you like what we're doing or you have a recipe idea, you have a suggestion, give us a shout out. If you have a tip on how we've made something that you feel we could do better, let us know. Um, like we tell everybody, we're not professional cooks. Okay. Now I'm going to let this icing firm up once I get it into the fridge and it'll come out we'll put a few strawberries on top at the end of the day but this is so good this is so tasty and uh, um, get this frosted just a little bit so everybody can see what it turns out like okay um, very hot day stick it in the fridge when we're done for a few minutes let it firm up you can also add a little bit more powdered sugar if you like a firmer icing but for the strawberry cake I like to let it firm up in the refrigerator I just think it uh, looks better and tastes better and let's just go ahead and put this around this edge okay And then what we're going to do is take our wax paper out. And there we have a beautiful simple easy infused strawberry cake infused with wedding cake it's a hybrid outstanding for relaxation um, and stress um, hey try it out let us know what you think um, you can order your very own herb cooker at the herbcooker.com as always if you like what we're doing give us a shout out give us a recipe idea throw us some suggestions um, Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Order an herb cooker. And remember, happy Wednesday. Taste matters.